Okay, 87 Ethica. This cheap driver from Walmart that duct taped. There's the seam going up the front. So it looks like this, it seams right into a piece of fiberglass and it goes along the front. And uh, this crappy skylight on here caused the leak. And uh, this vent, look how this vent's made. This is way up high. I'm gonna put a power fan in this thing anyway, so I'm taking it apart. So, two vents in this thing one air conditioner, or one uh, vent for the refrigerator, one vent for the uh, plumbing. So, so, this is metal. I wasn't sure about what these were, but 87, these things were look really good. Uh, look how thin that roof is half inch. So I'm putting TPO roofing on top of this because they say it reflects 90% or up to 90% of UV rays. Keeping the heat out of this thing. It has the high ceilings, like 6'4 ceilings. 6'5. So, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with this. I already put TPO roofing in my 73 sports coach. Which that has about 2 inches insulation in the ceiling. And I can just really tell the difference keeps the heat out completely. But the way this goes, it goes over the sleeper. So I don't know if I'm going to end up running TPO, taking this trim off, and going all the way over the end of the sleeper. But it really, it sticks really good to this fiberglass. My boy's got a pressure washer. Hope it works good. So anyway, I'm putting another power fan on this. I put a skylight on this thing, I mean a, a solar panel. So, think of the Annie Lennox song. Some of them want to be abused. Uh, some, uh, or some of them the other way. Oh, everybody's watching the Johnny Depp thing. It's like, dude, everybody's running away from something. I've never seen people want to be so violent to each other. So I live by myself. Uh, and I swear, 99% of the people are liars and want to draw you in. Isn't that terrible? Oh, poor guy. And the women probably think. So, gosh, I'm almost thinking about going, taking this all the way to this trim. Take that trim off and run that PTO right over there. And that'll keep the heat out of the sleeper. Uh, not really going to be great insulation. Uh, this is... 87 uh, Ithaca. Uh, I picked it up for not much and exhaust manifolds leaking. I don't think I'm ever getting rid of this. Some guy called me from Cape Cod. He's like talking. Oh, it's not perfect enough. And I'm, like, I'm like, dude, I'm not even getting rid of this thing. This thing's built so good. Compared to those Toyotas, you don't even, you know, this thing's got metal on the roof and you don't even get that anymore. Uh, and you get like this siding stuff they put on the roof of the uh, on the roof of these motor uh, Toyota motorhomes. I'm sure there's some other cheaper ones. Got a real high ceiling. This thing on the six. That's six five ceiling six six. Uh, beautiful bathroom. Put a brand new toilet in it because the my Odyssey I sold. I put the toilet in that. And I wanted a taller one in here. I don't know, maybe the sink's got to go. Give me a little bit more shower room. And look how thin that ceiling is. So TPO's going over top of that. Beautiful ceiling, though. Uh, 57,000. Let's clean the dashes. This thing's beautiful. Never getting rid of this one. Uh, yeah, I took the other ones on because I got that one free. And that one for 300 bucks, 360 and on up in California. I'll put these curtains up over here. Keep the heat out. But anyway, 63, took my retirement last year, September. I'm gonna uh, uh, probably go back to work, do something up north and live up north for a while. I like living on the ocean, like the trails and everything. Uh, so. I don't think no chances of 63. Uh, yeah, because I've, I've been lied about a couple of times, back and forth to court. I'm like, 
my gosh. I <sighs> like I swear just like it seems like that depth thing. He's such a good guy. Oh neighbor's moving, I left her cat. New kitty cat. Pretty cat. The one who wants attention all the time. I, I hear people say Itasca oh, or Ithaca, New York. When the bag go. Uh, I'm not sure what this flying system is. Anyway, this is what I've got going on here. Got, got new lights for the back. Oh, I'd like to put one of those instant hot water heaters in replace of this. But I've got one I'm putting in the bathroom back. I guess I will. They're like 500 bucks. I just want to put that in there. Oh, spending the money. But anyway, this is it. I guess I'm going to go all the way over to sleep with that TPO and take that trim off and lap it over the sides. Boy, oh, I got a lot, a lot ahead of me. So it's painted there. I'm going to scrape it down as much as I can to the metal. But that'll make all the difference. So I've got like a week of just prepping this thing at least. Getting on that. So. Oh. Living the ghetto. But actually I like Kern County, Lake Isabella. It's like, uh, uh, it's like hometown where I grew up. Simple. People fishing. Anyway, this thing's pretty here, so nice. 87 Ithaca. Uh, I believe my soul's on fire. Be nice. So I'm keeping this one because she's just pretty. I believe my soul's on fire. I wonder who that is. I want a beer. A beer at noon. So, uh, a lot to do. I was scraping on these last night. So I'm gonna put one of those two, those two of these on the uh, Ithaca. We'll clean them off. Uh, so this is the, uh, let's see if I can get up here. This is 73 sports cars I got free. So 500 bucks to tow it and tag it. I even got insured. So here's Marshall Tucker band, everybody knows that. Look how dirty this TPO got. I couldn't get it on the metal here. So I'm gonna just put this eternal bond water-based adhesive putting one to that in this thing this really keeps the heat look how dirty because it rained all oh, the dirt and dust this thing is beautiful inside I want to get it up going so oh 300 bucks I got to deliver that thing I think I'm just gonna load it it's just too trashed inside needs a motor it's got each tire is 300 bucks on their brand now. Picked that up for 165 delivered. And it's a good 350 motor. Transmission, I have a sports coach motor on 350 Chevy. It's a Chevy, that's a Dodge 75. So, but anyway, before I get out of here for the summer, I'm gonna have it all cleaned up. I like to put one of these things together just for like a little pickup truck hauling. I picked that beast up for 500 bucks, 100 bucks to tow it. So, 2004, the last tags on it. It's full of mouse crap. Probably, I'll probably get the Hans as far as I'm not. Oh, <laughs> I vacuumed the cobwebs off the motor. Mountain lightning in there. Oh, shit, how much time we got? My time we got about five minutes left. This thing is so beautiful. Let's uh, clean the seats are. Huh. I 
But you figure the copper lines, they bust in the floor. Uh, it's a hot water heater, big bathroom. I like this thing. How big is bathroom? There's a shower. Put in the vent in there. That's it. It's a hot water heater. So, extra room, somebody comes to visit me, get their own bathroom. This thing's just so clean. I scratched that one corner right there. But besides that, this, none, none of the panelings. This thing's just beautiful. I mean, of course, where the vents leaked, because after 25 years. I'm just scraping the stuff off there. So there's the back of that. We got 11 minutes. Cut this thing down to 15. So he took the back off of it because somebody ran into it. I was parked in his driveway. They're really nice people. Her father owned this. I think she said 16,000. Maybe 13 he bought it for brand now. But um, one day I might have this thing. Put a motorcycle hauler make a toy hauler out of the back of this i ain't putting that back on there whoever designed this was a race a drag racer whoever designed the back put this massive beast on here that's 400 pounds i swear maybe 300 these tires are brand new michelin except they're 25 years old so, maybe two ones on the on the front i ain't driving anymore hardly a little garden, tomato plants, peppers. So anyway, that's the... Those tires won't work on this. That's why I bought it. So, okay. That's it. 